Welcome back, welcome back. I'm Ami Puli Tsai Funk. This is Peter Kumse, P. Kumse in the forums, uh, Relics Balance Designer, who, who loves to talk during SNF videos. <laughs> you'll get it, you'll get it, you'll get it. Uh, that's all right. All right, so, Peter, game one was uh, Slugfest. Did you enjoy it? Yep. I don't know. I feel like it dragged on a little bit. I felt like there's just uh, there's a lot of bad decisions, and uh, I think. I think the guys, both of them were in a position to end the game either early or mid game. So yeah, it was, it was good. There's a lot of a uh, lot of good moments, but I definitely would like to see a little more, you know, cutthroat action. All right, plan, plan to win. Better better unit formation, perhaps. Um, it just seems like the the. the that they didn't have a good feel for when to push forward or how to push forward. It, it seemed like there was a lot of sort of like headlong running into danger. And I mean, yeah, you need to be aggressive, yeah. obviously, when you're leading, but not to the extent that you get too spread out and flanked and destroyed. You know, so we saw so many Fausts go in and 18 aids. There wasn't a lot of uh, kiting of vehicles versus infantry, which which the top players will do to you. I mean, they won't let you 18 aid them or Faust you. They'll they'll keep a distance and they'll just chip you away. You know, with just good vehicle micro. So, I think the important thing is to like good players know how far to extend, and part of that is setting goals. You know, my goal is to get this mine down, and that is what I do, and then I get the thing, and I get the fuck back, right? Like, I think that there are players that I think these guys are kind of aimlessly going forward and back without real clear purpose, and they didn't, they didn't really have a, a greater strategy in their mind as they were playing, and then it was a little bit evident they had an end goal. You know, you saw that Justin was trying to get the T34s out and you saw that uh, Cruz was trying to get the Tigers out, but there wasn't really any cohesion in that, like how that actually could play out. And I think, in my opinion, I think their strategy is actually bad because they had a huge opportunity mid-game where they could have pushed and done a lot of damage with a medium tank, um, mm -hmm. but they didn't. And I think that was to their detriment. I think if either one of them had pulled out a P4 or a T34, that could have been game over at that point. Uh, is there a way you can try to unfreeze your webcam again? It's gotten frozen up again. Yep, but I it, can unfreeze it. It's not I mean, all just... that important because we are about to go into game two where Jeslin leads one to zero. He will now um, play the us there as the factions are reversed. We're gonna. I'm going to stay following Jeslin, uh, so he will oh, remain yeah. blue. And Peter, if you could follow Cruz this time as Soviets, I'm going to bring us in game right now. All right, I'm ready. All right, I'm paused at 10 seconds. Are you with me? I'm, at 10? At 10. I'm with you. All right, great. So let's get this underway. I'm going to unpause in five, four, three, two, one, unpause. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I turned the game sounds down just a little tiny bit because uh, everybody wants to hear every word out of your lips, Peter. As you're always dropping All right, the I'll good, the good info and the good critiques of, of of the players, so hopefully they'll be able to hear you a little bit clearer now. So it's the same thing. I'm seeing that they're doing double Gren strats, and I get Grens are good. They're definitely better combat units than pioneers. But if you actually look at the timing, you can get your second Gren out roughly uh, at the right time if you build a pioneer. You're looking at a five, ten second for an extra person to cap and if you upgrade with a flamethrower they're pretty good versus buildings i don't know i th i personally like a two pioneer start i think there's a lot of flexibility especially on a map like this but help? so would that be your first unit or your second unit the so extra, i, I extra see pioneer. the german 
Yeah, the Germans are going double pine or double grens, so they're they're wasting time. Triple, quadruple, quintuple grens. Yeah. Right. So you're saying there was a, a manpower float gap there, but the, would the, would your pioneer be your second unit or your um like would it be your first build or to, would it be your would it come after as your I'm first building my, As I'm building my first building, I typically build my grenadier and my pioneer. Or sorry, build my pioneer as I'm building my first building. Once the building's done, I build my grenadier. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So I, I've, it comes down to Grenadier's preference. Uh, I don't think the pioneers are, you know, they're not Grenadier's complete crap recording. if you get them close. On a map like this, it's feasible. Um, but they're really good to cap and harass early on. And how often do you um, upgrade flamethrowers on your pioneers? Because, I mean, before, like, a half-track comes out, or before you've got the munis to try to get, like, LMGs or nades or something, I mean, it's, it's it feels like... The, the upgraded flamethrower pioneer is the only Wehrmacht option for the extreme early game to deal with the ships and houses. It is. Well, well, now with the, with the building change, we have other options, too. I mean, you can use cover. Like, green cover will beat out building cover. Um, nice. That's what we like but, to hear. That's a big, important but, change. Everybody should very, be very happy to hear that. You have to look at the situation. If I see that the Soviet is doing a lot of buildings and he's doing a lot of um, kind of playing very... Uh, Maybe passive aggressive is the best way to determine. Then I'm going to go for flamethrowers and then flush him out. But if he's not, I'm going to try and draw him out of the fight. I'm going to try and use cover and make fights longer than they need to be. Keep it long distance and back cap with my pioneers. I'm going to know I have that extra extra guy to actually get map control. And you'll, you'll be interesting because a lot of players they don't know how to react to that. And do you do you move out of that fight and potentially take losses to try and capture that that territory that you lost, or do you stay there? And if you decide either or, you're going to lose. Right, so that's the way you gotta. It's, it's, it's a game of chess. How can you put your player in a situation where they're going to lose? Now, you don't want to give them a. You don't want to give them a win option, and that's what separates the good players from the great players. I like it. I like it. Peter taking the stage, dropping the knowledge while I can concentrate on my observing. Uh, it's it's quite a handful, Peter, to try to to obs properly while casting. I, I far prefer to, to just sort of cast and think the game while while someone else is moving the camera around but I hope I hope that our viewers out there have appreciated that I am getting a little bit better at this I do still miss tons of stuff but um, hopefully they're enjoying my opting all right we got an we got an m3 so that's something different um, so I wonder is is Jessel and thinking to himself I'm gonna go for a really heavy cutoff strat like is he trying to pin this guy down in this choke or is he just pushing forward aimlessly that's what you need to be asking yourself as a player. So if you're at a point where you're just pushing forward aimlessly, you're not doing it right. Well, this is interesting um, that Cruz has got this M3 out, but it's not really the same way that OMG Pop plays it, because Pop puts instantly some flamers in it. He always gets two M3s, and he always gets two flamers, and he goes around, and he preserves that unit into the late game. It's quite amazing to watch, but uh, we have something entirely different from Cruz. He's gone early Penal Battalion squad. Well, they, they can work too. They're a little more aggressive in the M3, but I think an M3 is, is probably a little bit more like it, I wouldn't use it if I saw a heavy grunt strap. It's just not, it's not, it's not going to get enough uh, value out of it, and that's what we're seeing on uh, Justin's side. It's five grands right now, so I don't know. I don't know what his thought was. Was he trying to preemptive a, a strat? I don't think that's a good idea. This M3 is running around with nothing in it. It just took a nothing foul. in it. It looks like these two red it. squads will be able to finish it off. They do, and they get vet. That's good for the Wehrmacht player. Here come the penals. And I think they're a bit outgunned. Yeah, so it's another thing. Don't fight battles that you don't know you're going to win. Remember I said uh, don't give the player a win option? This is a win option that uh, Cruz just gave Justin. He's in a 2v1 two, two scenario. Yeah, yeah he, he has good long good range. He's just suffering Stack manpower up. losses. He's just suffering man, man, oh, manpower losses. If I oh, see that I have, one, if I see huh? I have one grand versus, versus uh, two conscript, I'm going to back out until I get more. Well, reinforcements have come, but they are getting just, just, just torn to pieces as they sort of run around, never really get well, into he's a good three. fighting position. More he smart. He's it, coming. He burst oh, to that. Nade, uh, just, just picks them off perfectly. Sort of does a little damage to both squads. Micro's there right now. He's doing good micro on that people battalion. I gotta say. Well, they they had amazing survivability. They didn't take a lot of damage. It seemed like all the well, damage no, he went merged. to the conscripts. Oh, he, he merged. merged. Oh, I missed that. Nice. Yeah. 
He merged conscripts into them. Oh yeah, you can see the little two conscript models running around with the penals. So, so Peter, just for our uh, less um, experienced players, what effect does um, merging conscripts into penals have as far as their guns and their damage? Like, does it retain this uh, conscript models? No, does so it retain their stats, or it retains everything but but their their armor. So, a penal battalion has no armor. So when you merge into a penal battalion, it's actually it's, there's a net benefit since you get a better gun. Uh, and there's no changes to your durability. But if you merge into a shock trooper squad, for example, you do get the PTSH, but you don't get the 2.25 armor. So there All is right. a. There That's is what something. I'm talking about. That's the kind of info that will really help uh, players excel in this game. Important stuff to know and learn. Thank you, Peter, for joining me today. I love that kind Another of stuff. Another M3 down. Another M3 down on Is he going to get it? He's just. His nah, he's just trying gone. to defend it. It's, 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 this, is, this is not going good. No, looks like these flamers it, might be able to save it. The Grins have to retreat. Uh, Scout Curry is on tough. the way. We'll keep an eye on it and try to let you know where are these conscripts going. They got lost. Oh, here it is. Here it is. What's he going to do? If he went to you the 2510, oh, he'd be so aggressive with the certain player. I think he really needs to start to take back and hold. All right, Cruz doesn't want to lose these flamers. He's doing as much damage as he can. The penals are still there. Yeah, those penals will throw the satchel. Oh, they're getting a nade. They're down oh, to four men, did, almost no health he left. Didn't have to, he didn't have to retreat. He didn't have to retreat. Who didn't have to retreat? He's going to lose his penal uh, squad. No, no. Uh, Kadren? Jessalyn didn't have to do that Kadren squad. Right. I, I think he would have had that. Wow, these two vehicles just finishing off those retreating penals. And so this is the time, look. Like, he got those vehicles out in the 6 minutes, 6 minutes, 7 minute mark. That's when you want to see Not the 10 minute mark. I mean, even earlier, actually. I think you can get them out in 4 and a half minutes if you, if you rush it. Jesslin pushing hard, looking very strong as Fairbox. He's trying to close this out and go to the fourth and final contender bout next week. Just excellent um excellent play from from jeslin i think perhaps he was emboldened by the game one win and he's feeling confidence now he's feeling like uh he's got the touch running through the the blood in his veins and maybe he's, he's a little bit better with germans too you know you never know yeah I'm, I'm glad that jeslin has gotten this far i've been watching him um in the previous Grenadiers tournaments, and he, he's always put go, put good showings in, but he's never quite made the grand stage. And um, it's a, it's a pleasure to see him, perhaps, moving on to next week's contender bout if he can um, maintain this lead. Let's see. What do we have? Any nothing building yes. for the Germans at the moment? Uh, we do have the second battle phase unlocked. We do have a 14 pop advantage. Uh, Jesslin has a 14 pop advantage right now. Oh, I forgot to turn it on! I'm gonna remember to do that. Where's that magic button? Peter, where is it? Oh, uh, yeah, we have resources. Top top there we top go. Top okay, top. sorry everybody. There you go. Now you can see the enemy resources. I get a slap on the wrist. Bad observer. Observer fail. Okay, well, uh, so Cruz is trying I don't to like hang in. He's trying to flank. He's trying to move around the outside. Like yeah, Cruz is doing a good job. I, don't, I feel like Jesslin really dropped the ball here. He had Cruz in a position of, you know, dominance, and he's basically let go. He's using the scout car to try to protect the northern flank as these conscripts just simply micro away from it. They're going to try to hide from oh. it. They're doing a little dance back there behind the trees. Nice mine by Cruz on the on the bottom old fuel point. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. If he yes. could lead these grins into it, and here they come. Whoop, now they, whoop, are they going to go for it? Are they going to take the bait? One squad's moving north, and the other squad looks like it'll walk right into that mine. Let's see. If the entities clump up, you get lucky, right? Yeah, you got to go oh, for the clump. Yeah. Oh, like he he's going to. he dodged gonna, it. What a he lucky dodged dog. It. That's good. I'd rather, I'd rather my mine hit a vehicle any day of the week. Okay, so could be good for crews. We'll see. There might not ever be a vehicle passing that point, though. We'll have to see. Yeah, you never know. That's interesting. Yeah. Good players will lead other players' vehicles into that point. Oh, look at the damage. These poor retreating conscripts. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. They got to retreat through a whole world of hurt. As they're down they're to on one man, and they're being chased by the Sunder Craft Fart Here it comes. Will it be able to get the kill? 
Yes, it will. Squat down. Very nicely oh, you're done. Oh, you ahead of me. All right, I'm sorry. Speed up a bit to catch me. I'm at 11.07, 08, 09, 11.10, 11.11, 11.11. That's what I'm at too, but 12. I feel like you're like seeing things. I'm like, what is he going to die? Oh, he does. <laughs> it's just, just, right. just cast your experience. What can I say? No, I'm just kidding. If you're going to take an 18 nade to a scout car, uh, back by your own base is a nice place to do it. He's immediately repaired. That wound up being a total loss for Russians. They lost the ammo of the 18 nade without getting the, the, the unit down, and they lost the entire squad in retreat. So Jeslin just dominating. He was able to move over to the right. He, he, he light-footed it past that mine, got very fortunate, and his infantry was able to chase that Russian advance out of the right-hand side. Yeah, I think uh, that's one thing you got to keep in mind. If you're going to throw HVNA, make sure you finish that vehicle off. Yeah, I agree. Unless you're you can't kill it, don't throw it. In unless yeah, unless you're intentioned. Stall. Yeah, yeah it's stall, and I get that. But I don't think he needed to stall necessarily against a... a no, a that was a bad choice, I agree. Well, we got some shark troopers up, so we'll see how they change the game. Definitely the strongest anti-infantry unit in the game right now. A nice double vet fight between these contrips. They're going to try to soft pedal retreat and reinforce the half track. I mean, that's the way to do it, right? Interesting cutoff move from Cruz. He's got so few units up there, though. I feel like it'll be squashed quickly. The the shock troopers are pushing forward, but there's a lot of heat, and they're just going to retreat, and that's probably smart. There's just too much there. Too much. So it goes back to that rule of thumb. Don't engage if you don't have the advantage. Yes, you're always looking for a, a, a gank, if you will, like an overwhelming presence where your opponent's going to be suffering manpower damage in the fight. And that's a lot of what the game's about, just kind of jockeying into those positions. And the best players, they'll light foot around engagements early until they can find one of those situations. It's really fun to watch. Yep. Yep. So we do see that uh, 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 Justin does have his cut off in the top by his base. Uh, captured, so he's just decapping right now. So he he was uh, cut. Field. Yeah, I think the P4 will end this. He does have an AP gun to kind of respond, but uh, I think the P4 with his combined forces should be sufficient. Very beautiful skin on the P4. I'm liking that. Yeah, I love this skin. Do you, so do you know this game so well that you can tell me which skin that is? Not that well, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> it's art. It's art related, so you know, typically not as important. There, I mean, there's so much to learn, all the commanders and all the skins, but uh, this one is a particularly good-looking skin. Let me just throw up the um, the player list real quick. Um, you can see that we have shock rifle frontline tactics selected by Cruz, but uh, Jeslin is still doctoring this. He still hasn't chosen a doctor, and he just bit, hasn't needed to yet. Oh, there's a nice shot from the Zith. Wow, what range. Amazing that it one-shotted the scout car. I'm impressed. I'm surprised it went through that, uh, that, that push. I thought that would have been a sight blocker. It was a good hit, but it doesn't look like it will be enough. Oh, you know what? I think he might have uh, attacked rounded it. Really? That would be incredibly impressive. If that was an attack round shot, I would be just like, wow. You know, that's a, like a <laughs> moment of brilliance amidst a, a, a losing effort. It's moments like that. If you get like, you know, if, he, if at this point he got like 11 of those moments, he might actually turn it around. 11, no problem. All right, here it comes. The Russian army is pushing forward. It's the, the Red Sea, and we have uh, ability called down. This is going to be a strafing run coming in. Bap -a -dap -bap. These squads are suppressed, pinned, sorry. All oh, three okay, of them so are pinned, went, and they're going to have to leave. So, yeah. Jeslin is now Assault Support Doctrine. Peter, thanks so much for putting those stats up in the corners. You are a caster's best friend. No longer do I need my cheat sheet with 40 commanders on it. I can just hop up there and look and read out the commander name. That is just great. I'm very happy about that. Thank you for that. No worries. It wasn't me, though. It was our, it was our program. Our UI guys. Here's a tip. Just, Worked just very for hard. credit being given out, just take it. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do that. You know, it's, it's very, all right, all right, it's all right. very much. Uh, these right, guys well, who does the credit ass. go to then? 
Where is the credit due? Precise. Uh, probably, probably one of our UI programmers. I think it would have been uh, Derek Johnson, if I'm, if I'm correct. Okay, shout out to Derek Johnson, UI programmer at Relic, for including those wonderful in-game tabs. I'm, sh I I I'm sure I speak I on behalf of all casters thanking for those. Sorry, go ahead. I hope I got his last name right. I have this show. Something wrong is going to be rough. All right, last ditch effort from Cruz. Oh, Max wow, KB2. You know, this is not a bad option. Yeah, playing for the Jedi I have. He's still got to deal with a lot of them. Well, I mean, I don't think he should have exposed himself like that. Yeah, he run, maybe killed the pack, but... Oh, let's see, the P4's yeah. taking damage from Zis, but it's still got a lot of health. Here's the Conscripts to support. KB, KB8 goes down. Will the Conscripts... Oh, what is going on? They've got no ammo. Peter. They don't have enough yeah. ammo for 18 nades. Can you believe it? I saw it. He could have he grabbed that AT gun. But, uh, that Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that would have been one thing he could have tried. It would have been risky, but... <laughs> well, probably would have passed out. Look at, these, look at these shock troopers trying to take on two Gren squads and the half track. If you look at the damage dealt right now, uh, Jessalyn has what, almost a 4,000 damage, 2,000 damage. That's 3,500 damage. I love watching those numbers go. I think the numbers just... For, for next week, i got to somehow condense my own um, name overlay so that I can show that better. But that's, that's really... I'll, I'm a, I'm a big guy into stats, you know. I, you guys at Relic, you gave us the opportunity to uh, be the first to design the the, the KOTU ladders, and I, I had a lot of fun, you know, thinking up, you know, let's do a win percentage, and, and I'm a big fan of baseball, so of course I used the uh, the way that baseball shows batting averages, you know, like point three hundred or point four forty four, and everybody got mad at me. They're like, the thing show percentages, blah blah blah, but I was just like, fuck you, it's my design, excuse the French, and I, I left it. But I see that you guys, you guys, I think I. I heard from Jeffrey that you guys had um, Sega of Europe do your um, forums la ladders, and uh, I have to say they look very similar to ours. <laughs> well, you know, we were the inspiration. Your inspiration. Why, why, re why reinvent the wheel, right? Why reinvent the wheel? But the one subtle change I did see was that percentage. You guys are going with the straight uh, two-digit, like 97% or 90, 98%. Um, so, <laughs> but little tidbits, little tidbits. So what do you think? I think, it, I think this is pretty much over at this point. He's got the strafe on him field. He's yeah. got the P4. Just he's sitting on a bunch of fuel, so. What is he going to do with all that fuel? Yeah, he's probably going to get a Tiger. Yeah, he's probably going to go for a Tiger. Well, that, that would be the nail in the coffin, a Tiger hitting yes. the field now, because basically Cruz can't handle the P4. And uh -oh. there's a crush. Triple back crush! Wow, that's one oh, way to go oh. out. Oh! The tank treads and GG. That's it. He's seen enough. When your tri triple vet squad gets like munched by a P4's treads, that is GG. All right, fight fans. This is what we're gonna do. We are going to come out of this real quick. One second. Um, I'm gonna show you the allies win video, and then we're gonna uh, sorry Axis, and then we're gonna go to a break. And uh, what you got to do right now though is you got to hit the follow button on. Um, Wow, was my overlay that screwy the whole game? And you guys didn't shout at me, or I missed it. Scoreboard broken. All right, now I see all the alerts. All right, apologies for bad scoreboarding. We'll get the hang of it. Anyway, so follow us right now on Twitch. And when we come back, we're going to raffle away commanders and skins. And then at the end of the show, we're going to raffle away a full copy of Company of Heroes 2. So press follow right now. Um, we're going to kick the monkeys into gear, and General Hell is going to bestow those gifts upon you during the break. So hit follow now, and we're going to come back with that stuff. Peter, stick with us. We'll be right back.